Where's Lucky? Cafeteria. How's Laura? Oh. She's going in and out. But she recognized me, and that's good news. She, uh, she also asked me to tell you not to worry about her and that she loves you. Luke, no, no. I have to be with my wife. But they're not going to let you in. They can't stop me! Luke, is that what you really want to do? Do you want to cause some kind of disturbance that might distract the team of physicians treating your wife? Now, if Laura... Bobby will come get you if it's necessary. You can say it, Tony. If she dies. I'm willing that's not gonna happen. Hey, God has nothing to do with this. You know that. It's all arbitrary. Terrible things happen to people all the time. You said so yourself. It's random. There's no rhyme, no reason. Well, I don't agree with that. At least not the rhyme or reason part. I believe that we're all, the, all out there. We're blindly inexorably fulfilling our destinies. No, what we are is trapped in a cage like rats. There's no reason for my wife to be in there fighting for her life. Well, Luke, maybe the sense-making comes on a different plane. At least that's what I found myself choosing to believe. Because I don't think I could put one foot in front of the other one if I didn't think there was a reason for the terrible things that we sometimes have to endure. If you're right, if it's Laura's destiny, to die over something so senseless then I don't want to be in a world that is that skewed but your options are not that simple anymore you've got lucky and you've got a new baby to think about you know and if worse comes to worse you will get through it for them you have no choice in this I think it's better not to invest in people. They leave. And it's scary. But I think the alternative's worse. And I'm not going to try to convince you that BJ's loss made a better person out of me because I am a bitter and I'm an angry man. And sometimes it still hurts so bad in me that I can't take a breath but Luke the thought of never having had BJ in my life now that is truly unbearable and Lucas he needs me now more than ever do you know that he sometimes comes into BJ's room in the middle of the night expecting to suddenly find her back again like some present under the Christmas tree I mean life is horrific and that is a granted but we, we muddle through somehow for the sake of the children. Is this the first time you've held a baby before? Kind of. I've been practicing at Maymay's. Oh, of course. I knew that. Here you go. Careful. Support her. Okay. okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Wow. She's really ours? Yes, she is. Cool. Hi, baby. Sure doesn't look like me. Are you sure this is the right one? That's her, all right. Yeah. I mean, it'll take a while for them to begin to resemble anyone. Simone, do you think I could have a few minutes alone? Oh, of course. I'll be right outside. Just don't take too long, okay? Okay, I just have to explain some things. I understand. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've been waiting a long time. So what do you think of the world so far? Not much, huh? Well, when you get bigger, I'll show you some really cool places that we can go. 
See, I'm your big brother. That means it's my job to take care of you. But since you're a girl, I probably won't have to share my room. Which is cool. I mean, I kind of like things the way they are. Oh, oh, I, oh, my dog, his name's Foster. He's cool, man. He will guard you with his life. You've met our dad, right? Yeah, he's cool. He's not like everybody else's dad, but that's good. But, I mean, you might as well be prepared. You're probably wondering where Mom is, right? Yeah, she's, uh, she's kind of in some trouble right now. She might even die. But it's not because of you, you know? I mean, I don't want you to misunderstand or anything. Even if she does, she was here long enough to bring you into the world, and that meant everything to her. I guess what I'm trying to say is, no matter what happens, me and Dad and Foster will always take care of you. It's a promise. Thank you.